Today we have a nice integral that one of you guys actually suggested on a post that I made. So let's just get into it with no more um, dilly-dallying. Okay, I can't believe I said that. So we have the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 on x to the 8 plus x to the 4 plus 1 dx. Okay, so the first thing I notice is the bounds are 0 to infinity. So we might want to try a 1 on x substitution. And when we do that, the bounds don't change, actually. And the x's become 1 on x's. And we also have a 1 on x squared term being multiplied. So I have a video on um, why integration is easy, actually. Hopefully, that's actually true, and I can solve this. Because if it's not, then I'm eating my own words. But anyway, you should check out that video. So what do we have? We have the integral of, okay, how should we do this? We could multiply top and bottom by x to the 8. And if you multiply by x to the 8, this thing would become x to the 6 at the top. And the denominator would become 1 plus x to the 4 plus x to the 8. Okay, cool. So now we have two forms of the same integral, right? And also the bounds are the same, and that's pretty good. So we can add the two integrals together to give us 2i and then divide by 2 to give back i. So the integral i is just half of the sum of these integrals. I forgot the half. Okay. It's pretty easy to forget the half, but okay. It's fine. Now, hmm, what can we do? Well, we could write this as, yeah, okay, I don't really know. Might as well just do what comes to mind. This denominator here is a geometric series. Notice how we have 1 times x to the 4 to get the next term, then multiply by x to the 4 to get the next term. So the common ratio is x to the 4, and there are three terms. So we have 1, which is the first term, times common ratio to the number of terms, minus 1, over common ratio, minus 1. And that's just another way of writing this denominator. And we can probably multiply by... Um, x to the 4 minus 1. And that would give us this. And then we have x to the 12 minus 1 on the bottom. But isn't that just x to the 6 plus 1, x to the 6 minus 1? Because of difference of squares, right? Yeah, so that works. Now we can cancel this and that. So then we have x to the 4 minus 1 over x to the 6 minus 1. I think the best thing to do here would probably be to just, hmm. well, we can write the top as x squared plus 1, x squared minus 1, and the bottom we can write with a difference of cubes. So this is actually x squared cubed minus 1, right? So that would be x squared minus 1 x to the 4 plus x squared plus 1. Okay, that's good, because now we can cancel these out, and we're simply left with x squared plus 1. Okay, I can see the light now. I can see that this is going to work. So this would be pretty good if we multiply by, or oh, sorry, divide top and bottom by 1 on x squared. Now, this way we get a, what do we get at the top? We get a 1 plus 1 on x squared. And at the bottom we get x squared plus 1 plus 1 on x squared. This is good because now we can write the bottom as uh, x minus 1 on x all squared plus 3, I think. Okay, let's, let's do that. So we have half integral 0 to infinity, 1 plus 1 on x squared, x minus 1 on x squared plus 3. And let's just check this is right, because that's probably a good idea to check your steps as you do them. So this would be x squared minus 2 times 1 plus 1 on x squared plus 3. And yeah, okay, these definitely match. So what do we have? We have half of... Okay, we could do a u sub here, but... I don't know if I'm bothered, 
But anyway, so the top is actually the derivative of this thing here. So this is an inverse tan integral. 1 on root 3 inverse tan x minus 1 on x on root 3. And we're, we're evaluating from 0 to infinity. So when you sub in infinity, you get tan inverse in infinity minus 1 on infinity. So that's just infinity. Tan inverse infinity is just going to be pi on 2. And then when you sub in 0, you get um, tan inverse 0 minus 1 on 0, which would be minus infinity. Because 1 on 0 plus, basically we're approaching 0 from the right side. And when you're approaching 0 from the right side of 1 on x, you see that you get infinity, right? This is the 1 on x graph. I drew that terribly. Probably use Desmos when you actually want to draw it. But you see that you're getting infinity here as you approach 0 from the right side. Okay, well this would be, we can take this minus sign out here and make this a plus. And so this would just be, okay, what is tan inverse infinity? It's just going to be pi on 2, right? So let me cross this out. Please, why is it not crossing out? Okay, technical difficulties. I could just like edit this out, but I think it's funnier if we keep it in. So we just have this, and now we can, bro. Okay, this is bugging out. I think my screen's not moving. Okay, it's working, it's working. This is a chaotic video, but we'll roll with it. So this is just gonna be two times this. So the answer is pi over two root three. And that is a nice answer to this integral. Thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. It was a bit chaotic because I'm, I'm just winging it, to be honest. But yeah, if you want me to solve more cool integrals that you have, just send them in the comments. I will solve some more that you guys sent in a post that I made. But we didn't get that many. I think we got like three, three integrals. So if you want to add more integrals to there, it's up to you. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you um, next time.